When I get in a tussle, I go full force right at him. Whoever makes the first move wins. I do have to admit, it's quite the spectacle to watch you charge in and go to town on someone during a battle. Yeah, it was actually my old man who taught me to fight that way. The more I lay the beat down on some baddies, the more fired up my fists of fury get. Zephyr taught you? Wow. I guess you really are following in his footsteps. There's nothing wrong with being so focused on offense, but the enemy always fights back at some point. Eh, as long as I don't get hit, it's not a problem, right? So what you're saying is you're too weak to take a hit. You're not exactly one to talk. <laughs> You okay? You made a weird sound. <laughs> Sorry. I was just thinking how amazing this view is. What's the matter? Haven't you ever seen mountains and fields before? Actually, now that I think about it, it's not every day we get to enjoy views like this. You too? Yeah. Calaglia has rocky landscapes, but the terrain here is completely different. Like, you see that mountain over there? Doesn't it look like a big wave that somebody turned into stone? Right? And those ones look like the horns or claws of some giant monster. Yeah. I'm surprised they managed to stay up. Yeah. yeah. Just be thankful we don't have to pass under them. Actually, they won't come tumbling down that easily. <sighs> you sure about that? Menencia huh. harvests Earth energy, which explains why the topography is so varied here. It's also why those rocks are bound to be sturdy. So all that astral energy is also what makes this realm look so lush, then. Does astral energy really have that much of an impact on the land? Yep. Yeah. Is that why even that mountain looks the way that it does? The stronger the energy is, the greater impact it has on lots of things. So yes, like a great big fire. But these imbalances are too pronounced to be nature's work. It's not how Dana would otherwise naturally look. If it's not natural, then you mean all of this is the Renans doing? Yeah. <sighs> when you put it like that, yeah, even weak. something as nice looking as this starts to feel wrong. <sighs> so if I remember right, there are six elements of astral energy and darkness is only on Rena, and light can only be found on Dana, right? Right. I only remember because my parents drilled it all into my head when I was little. How did we find out about dark astral energy in the first place if it's not on Dana, though? Beats me. I couldn't tell you how or when we figured out that sort of stuff. I'm sure there's other stuff we've forgotten along the way, too. Yeah, I bet. And then we forget that knowledge was even forgotten at all, and it's back to square one. Exactly. That's why we need to take good care of what knowledge and artifacts we still have left. Aww. You really have a thing for old stuff, don't you? Well, I don't know that I'd call it just a thing. It's also something that helps me feel connected to our world. Connected? It's nothing. Forget I even mentioned it. I should have guessed that there'd be no way he'd understand. How could he? Whoo! Hmm. Hello. Hello. Go in, my god, go on. Hello, Bizarre. Miss Kent, I'm 
I don't know. Bitch, that the bitch can't. Look, Renan soldiers. Well, why? Do the Renans control this city? I've never seen so many of them in one place before. No. Look at the cores on them. These people are all Danans. They're slaves. If they are, they're awfully well dressed. And they're smiling, too. Something weird's going on here. Forgive the intrusion, but if I'm not mistaken, you're newcomers to Elda Menencia, yes? No. Please, you have no reason to be alarmed. My name is Drashen. I work at the Department for Welfare. Department for Welfare? We work to support the day-to-day -day living of all citizens. Welcoming newcomers to the realm is a part of our job, albeit one we rarely have the pleasure to perform. Let me guess. We get a free pair of shackles as a welcome gift. Perish the thought! Your trepidation is perfectly understandable, but I assure you, our way is quite different. <sighs> In the past, this realm was no different from any other, and run by a rather merciless ruler. But all of that changed once His Excellency, Lord Dohalim, assumed power seven years ago. Lord Dohalim. Under him, for the first time in our lives, we Danans were treated with the respect we deserve. Lord Dohalim is adored by Danans throughout the realm, and we serve him with gladness. Am I hearing you right? The Danans here willingly serve a Renan Lord? Please, see for yourself. You're free to go anywhere you like. Just ask if you should need anything. What is it? Spit it out. It's just, we came here to free everyone. Uh-huh. But the Danans of this realm are all happy to serve Dohalim. Are there any walls that even need tearing down? Who cares? That just makes our path to Dohalim that much clearer. I guess, but... Still... Trashin said we should check things out for ourselves. Maybe we should look around a bit, see what we learn. Dohalim. Lord Dohalim. Everyone is all smiles. I've never seen a city so lively before. Lapo. My god. Ah, voy. Yo como no. So, thank you guys for supporting this series. I guess. Hmm? 
Sure. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> sure. for help hopefully it's nothing that'll be too hard to do deal with how a dog I feel like somebody's watching us. Maybe there's someone around here who needs our help. I wonder if something happened.
โอ้โหเดี๋ยวพี่บาดเจ็บฮัลโหล Fight, okay. I'm going to fight. I'm gonna fight. Don't get too excited. Fight me, fight me. Bring it on. 
shouldn't have messed Sorry. with me. You'll pay for that. One more. It's not today. This one's mine. Dragon, no, mine. I won't give in. Here's a healing arc! Can't move! I'm dead! I'm dead! I'll bring you back from death's hook! Life after energy! I'll bring you back from death's abyss! Resurface! The arc's sealed! You're not done yet! Double demon bang! I... I can't do anything! Stay away from my friend! Double demon! This is looking like can't move. Okay,
How white is the wind? I want nothing. Okay, wow. Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? No. I'm not long of it. I'm gonna go meet Dorlin. I'm gonna go meet Dorlin. Huh? Someone in trouble here. Well, let's see what they have to say. You see anybody around here who could use our help? We can't chase after every little thing. Right. for help hopefully it's nothing that'll be too hard to deal with
Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads.
Easy peasy. I knew I could handle it. One of your friends, Hoodle? Everyone walking the streets looks so calm and happy. I guess it really is true they don't treat Danans as slaves here. Did they actually somehow achieve equality here? And if they did, why? To what end? Something here doesn't feel right. Even though they sure want to act like it does. What is going through that Lord Dohalim's mind, I wonder?
I'll crush you! <laughs> Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous claw! First strike! You're done! Steel! Oh, not my finest. Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? <sighs> What's this thing? See what's going on around here. Yeah, there might be someone who could use our help. I still can't believe I'm seeing Danins and Renans getting along. You never know. It could all be an act on orders from the Renans. To what end? It would... it would be an incredible amount of effort just to fool us. Let's check out more of the city. There's probably places we haven't seen yet. today. So is mine. I'm gonna help him when I grow up. Looks like Danons are working in the quarry. Let's go check it out.
Stay sharp. We're going in. Going in where? I'm sorry. I'm not feeling well today. Could I please take the day off? Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. Halt. Gisela. I presume you're Alfin of Orbis Calaglia? I'm Captain Kisara of the Elder Menencia Guard. Just Kisara? No last name would make you a Danon. So it does. Is that a problem? The Guard. Wait, so you're saying the Lord of Elder Menencia has Danons protecting him? In this country, Danon guardsmen aren't unusual. Everyone who enlists does so of their own free will. She sounds like she's serious, Alfin. That makes no sense. Don't your people remember seven years ago? Wouldn't you be grateful if you were finally allowed to live as a free person? And for my part, there is no greater honor than being chosen to serve His Excellency, Lord Dohalim. I feel no shame. <laughs> but all of that aside, I came seeking you, Alfin at Lord Dohalim's behest. He wishes an audience with you. W with us? Indeed. He awaits you at Ottolina Palace. That is, if you choose to accept. I am here only as a messenger, not a kidnapper. Your reply? All right. We'll meet your lord. Very well. I shall return and deliver your acceptance. Please don't keep him waiting too long. Before you go, what lies beyond this point? A quarry manned by Dan and laborers. Nothing else? There's a Dan and medical facility for the severely ill at the back. However, for sanitation reasons, it's kept off limits, even to guardsmen. That was odd. Why do you think this Doalim would want to see us? It's probably a trap. Still, they already know we're here. Huh. Not like we can start being stealthy now. Uh -huh. We might as well listen to what he has to say. Hey, are you sure about going? What if it's a trap? That's no reason to back out now. Law's right. I get your concern. But we should buckle down. Azambala. <laughs> Anyway. Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? Towering structure at the center is the palace. You think it's dangerous to go inside? It's not a question of danger. We're going inside regardless. So, do any of you know anything about Lord Dohalim? I think I remember hearing something back in Cislodan about how he fights using a rod. A rod? I don't know the details, but from what I gather, he swings a long rod around and uses it to stab and smack people from afar. I think there's also something he does with, like, trees or grass or something? I forget. Grass? Bear in mind that Elda Menencia harvests Earth's astral energy. It would be no surprise for him to have some sort of control over plants. So basically the point is we know nothing about the guy. Wish we weren't going in completely blind. Hmm. Um. Hey. 
Pretty fancy place they got here. There's no way this isn't a trap. Stop the door, Your guests, my lord. Thank you, Kisara. You're the wielder of the blazing sword. The liberator of Calaglia. You do dress humbly for someone of such grandeur. But where are my manners? I am the ruler of Elda Menencia. I'm Lord Dohilim Ilkaris. If you know who you are, then you know how strange it is to invite us into your palace. I thought I'd clear up your misconceptions before things could escalate. What do you say? <sighs> You did come here to defeat me, did you not? Perhaps, and what if we did? Are you planning to fight us here? I don't think that will be necessary. After all, I imagine you've taken in a fair amount of his scent by this point. Have you come across even one slave being abused? Soldiers killing for sport? Suffering of any form? I would hazard that you have not. For I have liberated Menencia from its suffering, and brought joy to its people. But if these results are not enough to stay your sword... <laughs> I commend you for your boldness, but it won't work on me. Yeah, why? Still. Your would-be assassination cannot go unpunished. Elfin! Fair enough. Allow me to host you for dinner. We shall continue our talk then. Kelzalik? Yes, my lord. Please escort our guests if you would be so kind. As you wish, sire. That's what you get for being so careless. What I get? What were you thinking attacking him on your own? What are you upset about? Our whole goal is supposed to be overthrowing the Lords. Remember? He could have been hurt. And it wouldn't have been the first time either. What's gotten into you? <sighs> hey, you do know that Alfin is really just worried about you, right? He's... worried? I mean, hmm. that's what it looked like to me. Uh, but, um, maybe not. It pains me to see that Renan cuisine isn't to your liking. I asked my chefs to prepare only the finest delicacies available. Two wasted opportunities. Those. Why did you set the Danans here free when you took over? Ah, uh, but you are mistaken. You see, I may rule single-handedly. But on my own, even I cannot change the order of things. But what is within my power is the welfare of the people. The fostering of a mutual respect among the classes. This I can change. Sounds a lot like the Danans are still oppressed, if you ask me. 
Only in the sense they continue to serve as laborers, yes. However, I assure you they are fairly compensated for their efforts. This harmony we strive for is the current pinnacle of Ren and Dan in coexistence. Harmony and coexistence between the Renans and the Danans. What about the crown contest? This doesn't exactly make you a shoe in And yet, the Danans here are even more productive than when they used to face daily lashings. In any case, the crown contest is of little importance to me, and even less to Elda Menensia. You see, I have no interest in becoming sovereign. Adway, Adway, on that, I don't know. It is not by choice that one assumes the throne of a realm. But Sovereign is a different matter entirely. I have no interest in playing their game. Are you saying you'll withdraw from the contest? I guess if you don't plan to ascend the throne, there's not much reason to harvest energy from Danans, is there? Let the ambitious fight it out amongst themselves. All I care for is maintaining peace throughout my realm. So what? Your personal desires are all that matter to you? Take a look in the mirror. I may not play their games, but you have outright betrayed your own. You've torn down two of my fellow lords. What precisely is your aim? <sighs> Spare me your answer. I care not for your reasons. Suffice it to say, I will not impede you. That said, should you threaten the peace of my realm, I will respond. I suggest you conclude your business and leave Menencia at your earliest convenience. Kelzalik! Our guests depart. Please see to their lodgings for the night. I shall arrange for rooms for you all at a local inn. It is a short ways down the road. You may stay there for the night, after which I suggest you promptly make your departure. Okay. Okay. So where are we going next? Damn, look at how ritzy this place is. How many rooms do you think it's got? Don't you think you're being a little too relaxed? 
They could strike at any moment. If they were going... ...to attack us, they would have done it already. What is they said? Do you really think we should trust accommodations from a Renan Lord? How do we know it's safe? Like we have any other choice. We can't go and set up camp outside of town at this hour. Honestly, I'd still take that over staying here. What if they try to kill us in our sleep? <laughs> I doubt that's the case. His best chance to kill us would have been back at the palace. His true intentions aside, for now at least we're in his good books. And we probably shouldn't test his patience. Let's find that in and check in. <laughs> Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? No. Your friends are dead. They're getting them. Welcome, fair travelers. Lord Dohalim's retainer told us to expect you. It is an honor for you to stay with us. Please, make yourselves comfortable. Yeah, thank you. This is better than I expected. Hmm? The room. It's nice. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. It is pretty nice. You okay, Law? You're a million miles away. Huh. Nah, it's weird. I felt strange ever since we arrived here. Can't seem to shake it. Maybe it's something about this place. And you're just tired. I'm feeling pretty sluggish myself. You too? Seriously, you two? A word to the wise, our work here is far from over. Get yourselves together. Sorry, but I need to call it a day. Well, let's meet back here tomorrow morning and see where things go from there. Sound good? Sure, but keep an eye out for anything strange, okay? Yeah. We still don't know how safe this place really is. Are you two feeling any better? No. Yeah, a good night's sleep seems to have done the trick. I wonder why we felt so out of it. You think it might have been because of all the food we ate? You don't think they slipped something into our food, do you? That must be it. If they were making an attempt on our lives, we'd know it by now. Though, on the other hand, they could be warning us off. Come to think of it, you didn't eat anything at the meal, Rinwell. Aren't you starving? Oh, I made myself something later. You missed out. That was some mighty fancy grub they served yesterday. What? And give the enemy a chance to poison me too? Are you crazy? What's the big deal? Shion ate it too, remember? And we both tried the same stuff. Well, maybe they laced it with poison that's only harmful to Danins, hmm? That's enough, Rinwell. <laughs> <sighs> Where'd it come from? 
There's something on its collar. Hold on a sec. I think it's trying to lead us somewhere. I'm gonna follow it. Hey! Where do you think you're going? I don't know. I don't know. Somewhere over the rainbow. Way out. Oh, do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? Yeah, but I can't find it. Stay close. We're gonna lose it. What's gotten into you, Law? This might be the lead we've been waiting for. Seriously? Yeah. Some people train animals to act as messengers. They don't attract attention, see? And you think that someone might be using that cat? To reach out and send us Maybe. a message or something? I could be wrong, but it's possible. I'm impressed. I would never have thought of that. Me too. I should know. We used to use them in Cislodia. It's slow then. She's so adorable. You say something? Where do you think it's trying to lead us? Who knows? We should hurry. We don't want to lose it. Whoever came up with this is pretty damn clever. Yeah, it just looks like an ordinary cute cat. Who? Oh, what? What are you telling me, you cat? Me and me? We lost sight of the cat. After the chase it's led us on, there's got to be something up ahead. Let's go farther in. Freaking invincible! Let's help him in the other 
together truly are strong. What about me? You're mine. You're mine. You're finished. Coming through. Ha! No. Scarlet Inferno. Rage. No, here's a healing arm. No escape. First aid. Here I go. Neon. Astral energy. Full throttle. I still got a ways to go. The reason the trees around here are so big is because of astral energy, right? It's possible, but give them enough time and trees can. Get pretty big on their own without any extra help. No. I have a bad feeling about this. Cross the armor one back! Save you! Luna corruption! Raging energy! Eat this! I'm on it! You're done! Now! Move away! Demon's descent! Flashing back! Easy! Way to go! Double demon back! Luna corruption! Lightning is going! Do it! Luna! Astral energy! Say no more! I wonder if I'm as strong as my dad was. One day I think you'll surpass him. <laughs> I wonder when. Oh, oh man. I hope I live yeah, long enough to regret it. You're done! Here! Go away! This will come in handy. Arch Steel! Try this! Try this! Try this! Try Not in your dreams! I'm out of ammo! Where, where are you going? I hope this thing is medically approved! Here's a healing oh, arm! Astral energy! Say no more! You sure showed them! All in a day's work! Careful, we don't want to fall here. Yeah, I doubt anyone would hear if we even called for help. I don't think people. Oh, oh man, let me help. I hope I live long enough to regret it. In here, Try this. Come in, baby. Inferno turret. Move. 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 All yours! It's on! It's over! Not today! Not yet! Try this! I'm on it! It's from you! Want me to pick up your slot then? Just pointing it out! These little ones are hardly worth our time. Less talking, more public. Cut them apart to your heart's content. Okay. Here we go.
The design of this equipment is really interesting. You must really like it, Alfin. I... I 
think I'm getting stronger. I think. Training paid off. Nice and tough. Everywhere you look, it's nothing but green, green, and more green. Just like Calaglia. Rocks. Rocks. Break the Here, let me this help. one's tough. I owe you one. Blue away. I'll this take one's you all on. Ignite. Let him go. 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 Let we got the advantage. Right. Good. Just have to make sure it's true. Don't worry, log on. No complaints here. Oh, 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 no complaints for me. Judging by... that the ranch are all grown now. It's crazy. I've never seen anything like these plants before. It's like they're an invasive species. Not that I'm surprised. Calaglia's all dry and Cislodia oh, is... Watch out! Ah! What the hell? Is that a Zugal? That thing is huge! Everyone, be careful! My god. How do I bet? Ah, why can't these dumb plants just keep to themselves? Less whining and more fighting, thanks! Yeah, yeah, I got you! Watch! The enemy is over there! There's a healing arm! You're up in the Get close enough to hit the main body. Let's start by taking out the tentacles. Here I come! Blue away! 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 away! Blue 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 Blade. 
Turn the tables on us. There are still more left. Right. No time to hold back. Infernal turret. Here I go. Double demon back. Swallow blade. More sucles? Keep calm and take them down. Swallow blade. These little ones are hardly worth our time. Less talking, more public. Cut them apart to your heart's content. Lightning Lightning Try harder! No escape! Now! You're mine! It's over! Bring it back! Got him on the run. Don't get caught. Right. Still in one spot. Air thrust. Dragon sight. One more. I'm all down. Dead in the wind. Air thrust. It's over. Dragon sight. Dead in the wind. Dragon sight. It's over. It's burning. You're burning. Dead in the wind. Dragon sight. It's burning. Everyone okay? I'm starting to get that it's a trap feeling again, guys. We'll just pray you're wrong. Hey, there's that cat. Huh. Looks like it's not done leading us yet. What do you say we check back in on the ranch? Should we really be like... Whoa, that came out perfect! Shion, could we talk a moment? Shouldn't you be resting? I wanted to talk with you for a bit. I don't really want to talk right now. Right. I'll, uh, stop bothering you, then. I didn't say you were bothering me. Uh... Sorry. Don't take it personally. I'm just not used to being around other people, so I don't really know how to... chit-chat. Well, for a start, you let your guard down a little. Hey, here's a thought. What if you tell me about your childhood? What with my thorns and all, I didn't really have one. Not to speak of, anyway. Although, I guess I did have one friend. Who was it? A really old doll. Oh. When I was a little girl, the doll was the only thing I could touch and hold without worrying about my thorns hurting it. I would do things like dress it up or sit it on my lap when I was eating. The two of us were practically inseparable. Can I ask something? Is it about the fact that I played with dolls? No, it isn't. I only wanted to ask who gave you the doll in the first place. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. Where is it now? I had to leave it behind when I left Lenegas. I didn't have a choice. 
Most likely it's long gone at this point. I think it's time we go to sleep. I still got a ways to go. It better not all be for nothing. Somehow I doubt it'll be a wasted trip. Really? Whatever you say, I guess. Let's follow. For a guard, you're not too good at tailing people. Huh. Not to brag, but this kind of thing is my specialty. So it really is you. When Law told us, I almost didn't believe it. I'm just surprised you could do two things at once, Law. What's that supposed to mean? Huh? Ah! <gasps> to be put in their place. The one time I wanted to resolve things peacefully. What the fight? What the hell? I thought you wanted us to leave. You'll never make me talk. Not helpful. In fact, you're pretty damn stubborn, you know that? Right. The enemy is doing all out! There! First 
your deal huh did do well, you, uh, uh, you send us away and then come to finish us off I don't buy it I wonder we came here following a black cat what reason could you have for tagging along certainly not as a spy you think she might have business with whoever called us out here 
And even if she did, I highly doubt she was trying to keep us from harm. Am I wrong? Just who was it that led us out here? Answer me. Are you serious? <laughs> Hold your horses. I'm the one who summoned you all here. Well, maybe not all. Nice of you to drop by, Kisara. It's been a while. You two know each other? Oh, yeah. Hello, brother. Yeah. Why, though? Why? Ah, by the way, I need to peace. So, you're the big heroes who liberated Calaglia and Cislodia, huh? It's an honor to meet you all. We didn't do it all on our own. We had a lot of support from others along the way. <laughs> so, wait, Kisara's your sister? <laughs> yep, that she is. The only family I have left. She was the dreamer of the two of us. Full of hope for the future of this realm. For both Danans and Renans alike. For siblings, you two don't exactly look like you're on the best of terms. That's because Migal here is a traitor. Isn't that right? <laughs> we were in the guard together. That is, until he was caught plotting to assassinate His Excellency Lord Dohalim. He took off after that. Is that true? You still believe that's what happened? I don't see why I shouldn't. Even if the truth slapped you in the face, you'd reject it. Same as back then. Heck, even now I'm still working to serve Lord Dohalim. More lies. You haven't changed. Before Lord Dohalim came to power, this country was ruled by an oppressive regime. We lost both of our parents to it. Back in those days, there were countless Danon children who had been orphaned by the Renan's tyranny. Just like us. So we formed our own families among ourselves and helped each other out, surviving as best we could. And then Lord Dohalim came along. He abolished the oppression that kept us down, and the Danans were treated like people again. Menencia was reborn under his watch, and orphan children became a thing of the past. If so, then why did you betray him? I'm not done talking. I'm sure you know the Renans are trying to harvest astral energy from us Danans. Yes. Shion here told me that's how they decide their next sovereign. That's right. There are five types of astral energy. Earth, water, fire, wind, and light. All of them are contained within every living being. And that's the excuse they use to enslave us. You ever wondered what happens to living beings and other matter when they lose all their astral energy? They just die, or so I thought. If only. See for yourselves. What the... is that... is that... metal? Not metal, but to be honest, your guess is as good as mine. I believe it's... nothing. Matter with no physical form. Just a reminder of what was once there. They call it the hollowing. The hollowing? The process itself is invisible to the naked eye, but it makes the impacted area reflective. Once it consumes my whole body, that's it for me. I'm dead. Well, what? That can't... Miguel. When were you going to... A sinister plot is unfolding as we speak. One Lord Dohalim is likely none the wiser to. 
It was blind luck I even found out about it. I tried to warn the man for all the good it did. Take a look at this. It's called the Fruit of Helgen. When a Danon eats this fruit, their body enters a heightened state, one that causes them to emit more astral energy than usual. Hold on. Could this be the reason Alfin and Law were feeling out of sorts last night after we ate with Dohalim? Sounds like you've been introduced to these things before. None too surprising, either. Most of the realm's food supply contains traces of the fruit. If that's what we ate, does that mean we'll become hollowed like your hand? <sighs> you don't need to worry. You'd have to consume a large amount of the fruit regularly to exhibit any symptoms. But if that's the case, then why aren't I showing any symptoms? <laughs> why would you be inflicted and not me? If I had to guess, because the guards' meals are free of it. Otherwise, they'd risk Lord Dohalim noticing. I tried to warn him, but all it got me was locked up. They force-fed me the fruit the entire time I was in chains. It's a miracle I made it out. They eventually left me for dead, thinking I would succumb to my condition. But I survived and managed to escape. So the assassination plot. Just a cover-up? What? Eventually, I found others like me. And together, we founded the Gold Dust Cats. Our mission is to uncover the truth and warn Lord Dohalim. As you can see, though, we haven't gotten very far in that regard. But I'm hoping that's about to change, now you're here. Which is all thanks to your faithful feline servant. It was a shot in the dark, but fortunately you recognized her for what she was, and Zare accomplished her mission with flying colors. So what's our plan of attack, boss? One of the Lord's routine inspections of the city. It's the only time commoners can talk to him face to face. That's the idea, anyway. His security is bound to be on high alert, but with you lot along, it's the best chance we're going to get to approach him. All right, we're in. But I have to know, how do you keep going with all you've been through? How have you not given up hope? Hey, someone has to fight for the future of the Danans here. The future? Lord Dohali may be a wonderful person, but in the end, He's still a lord like any other. And lords can be replaced. Once the current contest is over, the next lord of Elba Menencia will take over. Then it'll be back to square one for all of us. That's why it's imperative Lord Dohalim sees the light. You really believe Dohalim is going to stick his neck out for a Danon like you? Is it so impossible to imagine? Everything begins with a simple leap of faith. Sie gar sondern nichts umsonst. 